Okay. It's me again. New York Stilo. Showing you my RO unit and my 44 gallon rubber made um, saltwater mixing container. This is what I use to collect um, water, mix it with salt. I have it. I use a um, a Mag 7 to mix the water in this. This is a pretty big beast. It's about half the size of me. Um, as you can see, the reason why I'm doing this video is because yesterday I purchased this pump here. This is, um, I went to, uh, what's the name of that? Bulk Reef Supply. I paid about 140 bucks for it. It's an Aquatech 8800 booster pump. It's making noise now, but that's because I haven't really screwed it on yet. But if I lower the back of it, it won't make the noise. See? It just has like a slight humming sound to it. I will tell you that um, if you have any RO unit, I highly recommend you get a booster pump. I was getting about... 55 psi which is really not bad uh, I live in a house so the pressure is uh, 55 psi into the unit but with this pump I'm getting 90 and that's after I adjusted it to lower the pressure um, from 100 I lowered it I can actually raise it up to 120 psi but I lowered it to 90 and I'm still pushing it because this unit which is a spectra pure max cap 90 gallon per day unit according to the recommendations I called them up and I told them I was getting 100 psi and they told me that I should tone it down a little because uh, under the warranty the unit will only be covered under warranty if it's running from 40 to 80 psi so I asked the guy but will it affect the membrane if I run uh, the unit at 100 psi he said it won't affect the membrane but due to the pressure I could crack the housing I mean it didn't make much sense to me but as I really really realize and, and look at the unit I guess it could be possible if it gets clogged because I have noticed that the first stage which is the sediment filter um, it's gotten really dark almost black and, and fast I mean it, the first stage was always this dark I've been collecting water with this stage these first two stages for a while but the carbon one is also getting dark, so the amount of water that's going through it, I guess it could probably clog the filter faster. Um, the way this filter works is um, you got the first stage of sediment filter, then the carbon, then it goes up into the RO membrane, then back down into these two DI resins. And um, it's got the yellow line which is the, the waste water and then the blue one which is the product water uh, you can hear it it's collecting a lot of water this is basically about five minutes worth of water already on a 44 gallon tub um, before I purchased the pump It would take me approximately, I would say, it would take me approximately 18 hours to fill this up, no lie. So I was not getting the 90 gallons per day that is advertised on the unit. Um, there's a lot of variables 
that come into play when you talk about ROs and RO units. Basically, they usually advertise the unit to be 90 gallons per day, but it would be 90 gallons per day if you had a PSI, which is pressure per square inch or something like that. If your PSI is 60 and the water that's coming into your unit is 77 degrees and we all know that during the winter time that's that's virtually impossible I tested my water's temperature to be 50 degrees and uh, this is we're we're in uh, the beginning of February here in New York City even at in the summertime the water comes out there's no way that you're gonna get 77 degrees coming in through the unit but with this pump like I said, I'm loving this. I'm loving it. I'm producing water twice as fast as I was producing before. And I'm very, very happy with it. I will say that if you're going to have any RO unit, purchasing a pump like this is a necessity i've been running this system for two years without that pump and i would have to wait forever to collect now i'm virtually collecting one gallon of water for every 16 to 18 minutes so if you divide that into an hour i'm collecting a little over three gallons per hour um the unit's 90 gallons per day if you day meaning 24 hours if you divide 90 into 24 hours I should be producing 3.75 gallons per day I mean I'm excuse me for hour per hour so that would be the equivalent to 90 gallons per day um, I'm producing about three and a half gallons per hour so with this pump I boosted it up to 90 gallons per day highly recommend it if you have any questions or comments about the pump plumbing whatever uh, hit me up on YouTube and till next time thank you for watching